and gentlemen, welcome back to Souter Motors. Jay Lapp with you. Today, I've got a travel trailer for you. This is a 2021 Forest River Wildwood. Uh, it is an extra light, uh, weighs 7,600 pounds, something like that, fully loaded. It is 31 feet long. Model number is 263BHXL. Uh, we've got two entrances on it, uh, bunkhouse in the back. So what we are going to do is open it up. Then we're gonna show you the outside, then we're gonna show you the inside, then we're gonna be done. Let's get to it. All right, we have got the Wildwood opened up. Wildwood, extra light. Nice power awning. LED light strip underneath here. Good outdoor space. Made even better by this outdoor kitchen. We've got the little griddle here, propane griddle. Nice little fridge. Keep a six pack of soda in there. Quick Connect propane is right here. Right there. Fresh water drain is right there. So we've got our steel wheels, brake tread on the tires. Quick connect for a hose, outdoor shower. We've got your cable hookup, outlet, furnace. Got some speakers. Nice solid steps. Got our scissoring jacks up front, pasture storage as well. This is set up for a Furion solar system so you can charge this set for that get a solar panel out here uh, on the front we've got our power tongue jack you've got your propane there is a disconnect switch right up front here which is great to have this is an extra light so our gross weight here is 7,682 pounds good weight for this size trailer again 31 feet long Got the one slide out. Do have a little bit of exterior damage right here. Previous owners look like they found a pole or something when they put their slide out. Always check that folks. All right, here we've got, so our stabilizers, uh, added support, added uh, stabilizing locking system. Unscrew that, put the jack down, screw it again. Then you got some extra support for your stabilizers. Uh, here we've got our tank dumps. This is a 30 amp service. Uh, we do have a ducted AC in there, hot water heater, spare tire, water connection, cable connection, black tank flush is here as well. Rear entrance, which would be a bathroom in the back. So you can have a really nice view, depends on where you park. And that is our exterior. Let's head on inside. All right, heading inside our camper here. We've got a nice open floor plan. That one slide, nice big slide, great sitting area. We'll get to that in a sec. Start up front here. We have full privacy door here, that's nice to have. Got wardrobes on each side, a little bit of shelving above. Then we've got our queen size bed, great storage underneath with access to the pass through and a nice little shoe rack right there. So uh, you got your cable hookups, TV hookups right there. And we come into the living space. Got a nice fireplace here. Good storage on each side. Got your entertainment system. Obviously TV gets mounted right there. Got our single slide out. Nice big U-shaped dinette. That'll sleep too. This jack knife's down. That'll sleep too. And the nice thing is once this jack knife's down, if you bear with me for a sec, 
you can actually remove this guy right here and all of this is sleeping area. Pretty slick. So we can sleep two, four. Those are doubles, so six, eight, ten in this guy. Not bad. Kitchen. Great countertop space or countertop space, depends on how you want to say it. Double sink. A little bit of storage above. You got the microwave. Got the hood system. You got the three burner stove. And the oven. All nice and clean. Uh, we do have the residential fridge. A little bit of an upgrade here. Great space, especially if you're holding 10 people in a camper, you want to have enough storage for that. Refrigerator, freezer, and I don't know if you guys know this, but this one has turbo cooling, cooling which is even faster than non-turbo cooling. Double bunks in the back. Great for storage or to store your kids. Big old pantry. Can never say too much about storage. Thermostat, as I said, oh, it's nice and toasty in here. We don't have it running because I'm only plugged into 110, but we do have ducted AC, and then you've got heat underneath. And to round it all off, here is our toilet with a view. Depends where you're parked. You've got your shower, sink, and medicine cabinet. And that is about it, ladies and gentlemen, for our 2021 Forest River Wildwood 263 BHXL. XL stands for Extra Light, BH stands for Bunkhouse. Thank you folks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.